There are a number of technologies in development that haven't quite been utilized to their fullest or put into a commercial setting yet. Today on Future 5, we're going to talk about some of those amazing technologies and what we'd like to see from them. Number 1. Google's Project Soli Project Soli is something you may or may not have heard of given that Google has hundreds of projects in the works at any given time. Project Soli is a very small sensor designed to fit into a computer chip that can then be implanted into various phones, smartwatches and other technologies. The sensor is a new idea on an old technology. It uses a radar system to accurately and at high speed depict exactly what gesture one is making, of course without contact and with virtually no error. The hope for this product is to someday completely replace the need for buttons and knobs on projects such as watches, phones, radios and many types of medical equipment. Using light from the radio spectrum, the product can very easily read even the smallest of hand twitches and translate it into movement on the device. Being a huge fan of wearable technology and especially gesture control, we'd really like to see this develop faster into the mainstream. Number 2. Augmented Reality Game Systems Ok, enough with the virtual reality. We really appreciate virtual reality for what it is, but let's face it, it's been around for nearly a decade and people didn't even notice until now. Augmented reality has a real future in gaming, if the right people decide to give it a chance. Turning your real world environment into a game or adventure could solve so many problems we have, with new and future generations becoming more and more lazy. Augmented reality offers real-life training that doesn't separate you from the physics of the real world. Pokemon Go are one of the first to jump into the adventure, but we guarantee they won't be the last. The idea of this project is to bring Pokemon training and adventures into the real world. You would use your device to see, capture and fight Pokemon in the real world. The Pokemon would be placed in areas in accordance to their types, just like the real Pokemon universe. The game will encourage kids, and myself, to go out and explore the real world to try to find legendary Pokemon and ones that will only appear in certain environments. This game truly forces you to leave your house and explore places you may have never been before. This is another project we really hope to see succeed. Number 3. The PC and console merge I guarantee we're not the only ones to think this, but enough with the PC Master Race. There has been a separation made by gamers affecting them that has lasted for over a decade. Currently with the state of the gaming industry, you have a choice to make. Either you choose to go with a console, forcing you to upgrade to the newest model when it comes out, or you choose to go with a computer, which you can upgrade at any time, but comes with its own annoyances. These two choices have separated gamers in a very bad way. There is now a stigma surrounding you if you choose to go with one or the other and some extremists even go as far as hating on the other person for their choice. These days seem to be over as time goes on and we see what's in store for the future. No longer will you have to choose between the two because we believe they will become like one. Many games today for the first time are now allowing you to play cross-platform. If you choose to own a PC, but have a friend that has an Xbox One, that's no longer a problem. Although very new, these games are doing what we all dreamed they would, and allowing gamers to connect to each other regardless of their choice in gaming units. There might always be a separation between Sony and Microsoft, so we can't generally expect those to become cross-platform, but at least we can hope for the best. Number 4. Genetic engineering becomes accepted. Let's face the facts. Although the majority of the world avoids things such as GMOs and everything that has genetics in the name, it's actually a pretty pointless endeavor. Genetic engineering has had plenty of time on the big screen and thanks to that has caused the world to look at it as if it's evil or against nature. The thing that most don't realize is a huge amount of what you eat has already been altered genetically and selectively evolved into what it is now, all thanks to humans. 
If you went back in time, you would see that the fruit and vegetables you eat are all drastically different from a few hundred years ago. Some plants can't even survive on their own anymore without humans cloning them. Genetic engineering could actually reverse these problems that we've created through natural breeding and help solve a lot of the extinction problems in species. In order for this idea to become accepted in the mainstream population, we will have to rethink our outlook on what is natural. Any number of foods you eat today when broken down into their chemical names would shock you with disbelief on how many chemicals you are consuming in that apple of yours. Most of the chemicals found in an apple you probably haven't ever seen or heard of, and some of which are even used as poisons to kill people as well as cancer treatment that was considered too deadly to be utilized in humans. With all these chemicals and dangers found in a simple apple, you can't ever judge something just because it has chemical ingredients. Because in reality, everything from your body, the dirt and even a rock is made up of chemicals. Chemicals you eat in every single meal. Number 5. Age Reversing Technology We can almost all agree on this development being awesome, if it doesn't freak you out. We've talked about how younger blood injected into older mice can completely reverse the aging process in the mouse. This technology hasn't yet been tried on humans, and it will take quite a while before it might enter its trial stage. However, there have been a number of other developments that seem promising, though age reversing through blood is by far the most successful as of yet. With new advancements in stem cell technology, it's allowed us for the first time to create blood from scratch, flowing with new cells. If this technology continues to cheapen, as most technologies do, then we would be able to produce mass quantities of blood that could be given out to those in need. As with most upcoming and emerging technologies, this type of blood farm is still quite a ways away. However, since the beginning of human recordings, we have been searching for ways to live longer and become immortal. With the normal drives humans have to fight mortality, we can expect that many great minds have taken interest in this and are working on it as we speak. Thank you for watching our video. Please consider sharing it, it is much appreciated. Subscribe for new Future 5 videos every Wednesday. Or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. I'll see you around.